So I'm sitting down and doing another PR unboxing with you guys. These are packages I've received over the past, I want to say like month or so, and usually they just collect in the corner of the office until I live stream and I unbox them with you guys, chatting with you guys, and showing you guys all the products. But unfortunately, my computer is broken again. <laughs> I say that pleasantly, but I'm actually very frustrated with the computer itself. This is the second time it's broke and the customer service has been great. Definitely wouldn't recommend Corsair products at this point because I've had so many issues with this computer and that is my live streaming computer. So it has been shipped off and until I get my computer back, I am going to be doing my beauty PR unboxings here. <laughs> like I said, a very frustrating and expensive thing that doesn't make me feel very good inside. But you know what makes me feel good inside is just sitting down, having a casual conversation with you guys and going through some beauty packages. And these were all sent to me complimentary of the companies themselves or PR companies. And if there's any products or anything specifically you guys would like more information on or for me to review or talk about more extensively, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. But without much further ado, let's go ahead and start unboxing. Now I'm just gonna start like pulling things in no particular order. Like I said, some of these might be a little older than others because, you know, like I said, they do collect over a month or two. So the first one's from Catrice Cosmetics, the Smooch Kit, which Catrice actually has one of my favorite foundations. So let's see what we've got in here. It's this cute little lip tin. We've got some, like, I'm assuming lip products in here. There are these Volumizing Extreme Lip Boosters. This one's Spicy Ginger Shot. I am assuming that these are different colors. Sour Mood. This one is in, oh, this was the Extreme, Volumizing Extreme Lip Booster, but this has the optical teeth whitening effect. Interesting. This one's Hot Chili Extract. <laughs> I don't know everyone's like fascination with burning their lips, but I don't know. I don't know if that's necessarily something I enjoy. Then we have the Lip Cushion. This is the Hemp Seed Oil and Coconut Oil Protecting Multi Balm. And then we have, looks like four lip colors, which include from their Ultimate Stay Water Fresh Lip Tint Line. I guess these are transfer proof and mask proof, it says. We've got four different shades here. Which I'm not gonna lie, I probably, like many of you guys, have not been wearing a ton of lip products. So we'll see if I decide to try any of these. Oh yeah, another thing I forgot to mention, I should always mention at the beginning of these videos, I do not go through all of these products myself. A lot of times what I do is I'll unbox them, I'll pick out what I want to try or use, and then everything else I either give it to friends or family or I donate the products themselves. So a lot of times you won't see me like open up products and swatch them because a lot of the women's shelters that I take them to don't accept open packages, which makes sense. They don't want to give their women used products, so I like to keep them fresh just in case I decide to do that. Next, I got these Infinity Supernat Youth Activating Facial Sheet Mask. Supernat is a brand I've never tried before. They are made in South Korea, so there's some sheet masks. <laughs> Next, we have Kodaly, a package from Kodaly. This is hashtag after one bottle. This says 62 times more effective than vitamin C, reduces dark spots by 63% after one bottle. Actually, speaking of dark spots, I have been considering doing laser. So if you guys have had any experience with that, let me know. I've had laser in the past, very targeted, mainly on this spot, which bothers me the most on the side of my face. I have like a very prominent dark spot and I'm starting to form like some just like light pigmentation on my cheeks, probably just from the sun. So thinking of doing laser, but I'm not really quite sure. So maybe I should try something like this first. This is the Vino Perfect Radiance Serum. Looks like these are both the same thing. Just two bottles, so I guess I have one to share, but I definitely wanna try this out because it might be good, like I said, for me trying to help with my hyperpigmentation issues. Next we have from, looks like Urban Decay, the All Nighter Vitamin C Setting Spray. There's so much vitamin C stuff anymore that like I'm, it's vitamin C overload. So I guess, oh, okay. So it's a long lasting makeup setting spray with the vitamin C cactus, vitamin C in it and cactus flower water. It's supposed to be hydrating. I don't know if I'll be trying this just because I don't know if I'm already applying a vitamin C serum in the morning. It seems like overwhelming for my skin to use a vitamin C setting spray, especially because my eyes are so sensitive, like spraying something on my face. I have no control over where that goes, but 
I'll have to do more research into that because I don't know if it's exactly what I'm thinking it is in my mind. It says instantly hydrates and brightens, energizing, uplifting citrus scent, smooth skin, and firms it. Up to 16 hour wear, transfer and water resistant, vegan and cruelty free. I will say that their normal setting mist is one of my favorites. Okay, next package. I have, oh, from Glow Recipe. It says Glow Essentials by Michaela. Oh, what's poppin'? So she has a kit, I guess, with Glow Recipe. Let's see what her kit has. We've got some lobster clips. That's what the inside of the package looks like. There's the watermelon dew, nice, and in my dew drops, we have the dewy, I'm gonna assume that's the plum plump hyaluronic cream and then the avocado ceramide recovery serum. So this retails for $48, and I guess it's a $67 value. And then we got some lobster clips. I always use lobster clips in my hair. So I'll probably get good use out of these. These are really what I use mainly to like pull my hair out of my face. Day to day I've got lobster clips in my hair. It's sad to say, but I'm like super excited. <laughs> I've got the lobster clips. Okay, moving on. We have another Caudalie box. So yes, obviously, ooh, I can already smell it. Obviously this is, I don't know if this is the older one or if the other one I just opens the older one, but this is the, oh, there's beauty elixir in here. Makes sense why I'm smelling it. Oh, we got two. These I remember being like, woof, really like, they were a lot for my eyes to handle because like I said, I have sensitive eyes. So maybe I'll try these again, but I know my, like my mom and my sister are obsessed with these. So I can always share with them, but. I do love the way they smell. I wish my skin liked it better. And I love that Caudalie gives these like seed papers <laughs> because I actually save these when PR companies send them to me or beauty companies. And then I actually cut them up and grow stuff. So yay for seed paper. I wish everyone would use seed paper. Okay, let me move on to this side for a little bit because I was working on that side for a bit. I have a bubble mailer here. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, we've got something from First Aid Beauty, the cleansing oil and makeup remover is safe for sensitive skin. I need this. I'm looking for another sensitive skin friendly cleanser because I think I'm gonna be doing a major skin rehab for myself. I'm thinking about, and actually I am going to be doing a patch test. By the way, this is very much a side note. So I had a patch test scheduled through my dermatologist and I had to cancel it because I had some scheduling conflicts and because if you've ever done a patch test, it's like a five day ordeal. You go on Monday, they prick your back with a ton. I don't know exactly how many, but I wanna say it anywhere from like 75 to 100 different spots. So they tape those patches to your back and then you leave the tape on your back, you can't shower, you come back on a Wednesday, they take the tape off, look and see what you're having allergic reactions to, and then because there's often delays when it comes to like contact dermatitis, they make you wait until Friday to see if anything else decides to react. So that's five days of really not showering. You can like, you know, do your best to wipe yourself clean or whatever, and you can't work out, and you can't sweat, and it's somewhat uncomfortable because obviously your skin might be having several <laughs> reactions back there. So not something I'm looking forward to, definitely something I'm gonna be scheduling. But on top of that, I am going to be just like clearing out my skincare routine and starting over. And so this might be something that I can incorporate into it as I do that because it is safe for sensitive skin. And First Aid Beauty is one of those brands that my skin seems to get along with. So we'll see if that's how I end up approaching that. But they also sent this, are these armbands? <laughs> oh my gosh, they're like little sweatbands, you know, like this. So anyways, that is exciting because I am looking for like really sensitive skin friendly products, minimal ingredients, all that kind of good stuff. What is next? Another bubble mailer. This is from Essence and it looks like it's mascaras, which I do like Essence mascaras. Let's see. It's like a little double pouch here. How cute. They come undone. I like that. We have the Double Trouble Mascara Waterproof, which I don't use waterproof mascaras. And then we have the Double Trouble Mascara Extra Black, not waterproof. So I will have to try this one out, the non-waterproof formula. And I have more hair clips. I also like these hair clips too that don't leave the dents in your hair. So like I said, I like Essence Mascaras. And so I'm gonna have to give this a go. I think these bags are very snazzy. Look how neat that is. They snap together and you get two of them. If I can get them back together so I don't lose them. Because let's face it, these PR unboxings get 
messy. I have a lot of recycling to, to do usually at the end of these. We have a little guy from Glow Recipe. Oh, I, I saw this, that they were launching this. Okay, so this is the Strawberry Smooth BHA and AHA Salicylic Serum. It's got a 2% BHA. I want to try like more products like this. My skin is so sensitive, a lot of times they don't, it doesn't tolerate it. So I'm not sure if I'll get use out of this, but definitely something I will research and look into. It's definitely, it definitely sounds like it's designed for blemish prone skin, which is not necessarily my skin type. I have a very dry, sensitive skin type, so my key thing is moisturizing, rehabilitation, and barrier repair for the most part. This contains a 2% BHA, 1% AHA, 3.5% strawberry, 3% azelaic acid liposome, and a 0.5% succinic acid. Never heard of succinic acid, so maybe I'll have to research that a little bit more. Oh, YesStyle sent me this goodie box. YesStyle every once in a while will send me just like a box of fun stuff. So let's see what is in this one. Feels heavy. Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff in that box. I don't know if you can see. Okay, let's go ahead and pull them out one by one. First, we have the All Day Long and Curl Mascara from Milk Touch. We have another All Day Long and Curl Mascara from Milk Touch. I'm assuming this one's a brown one, yeah. And this one must be their black one. We've got the Peach Sea Champagne Eye Glitters in Valentine Pink and Rose Coral. I'm actually trying to find some more eye glitters, so maybe I'll try those because, I don't know, I'm getting a little bored with my makeup lately. We have the Matcha Hydrating Real Sun Screen, which I have seen this a lot of places and wanting, have been wanting to try it. it. Has an SPF 50 PA Quadruple Plus, so now's my chance to try it. We have the, it's the Peach Sea Slim Waterproof Fixie Liner, and there's three different shades, soft brown, deep brown, and black. I cannot remember the last time I've actually used an eyeliner like this. Let me see what it looks like. It's been a while. I usually just use liquid liner now and that's pretty much all I use. But these are like, you know, I don't know, are these pen crayon liners? So maybe I'll try it, maybe I won't. <laughs> we'll see what I'm in the mood for. Next we have from Wake Make these two Radiant Cheeks in 02 and 04. Wait, is this one too? Oh, there's another one in here. And we have one in 05. I love Wake Make. Wake Make is probably one of my favorite Korean beauty brands for makeup products, so I wanna look and see what these look like. Oh, I've been eyeballing these. They're like shimmery blush colors, so these might have to make it into my collection. I'm gonna have to swatch these and play with these later and see which ones I wanna keep or if I wanna keep all of them, but like I said, I really like Wake Make makeup products. Oh, we have this from Marymond. I think I've tried one of these, and they're just like little lip tints, and I, Feel like I remember them being a little moussey. Like I said, I haven't been wearing a lot of lip products in general lately, so, but isn't that adorable? They're like little baby hearts. We have the, the Peri Peri All Take Mood Technique Palette in O2 Shawi Cherry. Okay, let's see what these look like. Oh, that's cute. The packaging is very sturdy and substantial. And this is what the colors look like. It's like kind of like lilac-y browns slash peaches on one side. You can see that kind of color family. Honestly, I feel like I have so many palettes in this shade range that I might have to pass on this, but it's really pretty. I mean, how many like neutral palettes can I use though? I really wish that some Korean beauty brand would come out with like a really fun eyeshadow palette that I get it's not necessarily the trend in Korea to do like really bright, vibrant eyeshadows, but give me some different colors to work with. I wanna see some teals, I wanna see some like yellows even, some reds, something really fun where I don't feel like they're always like the mauve lilac-y, lavender, browns, neutral kind of family. We'll see if anyone listens to me. Next, we have the Neogen Dermology Green Tea Moist pH Gauze, Gauze Peeling. I have one of these open right now that I'm using in my skincare routine, and it's fine. I feel like I like the wine one better than this one, but this one's more, more formulated for sensitive skin types since it does have the PHA in it. Then we have the, the Skin House Aloe Soothing Gel, which is always nice for summertime. I don't think I have an aloe gel right now. And then we have the Isentree Green Tea Fresh Toner, which was another 
toner that I had in my cart for a second there. And then the Dear Claire's Gentle Black Fresh Cleansing Oil, which I, I know I've tried this at some point. It's been a while. I do remember liking it, but maybe I'll have to give it a go. Cleansing oils, I feel like, are one of those things I'm having to constantly re-up on because I use them so much. Like, cleansing oils are something I use pretty much every day because I wear sunscreen every day. So, thank you, Yes Style, for sending that over. What else do we have? I guess I'll do this little pouch from Gen C, I think that's what this brand is called. It's G-E-N-S-E-E. -E. And it's a clean, high-performance color, vegan and cruelty-free, sustainable, recycled packaging, ethical, inclusive business practice, beauty company. There's no fragrances, no nanoparticles, and no phthalates. Cool. Gen C or Gen C? I want to say Gen C. Let's see what's in here. Looks like we've got some makeup products. We have the Pick Me Up Lip Matte Lipstick in the shade Margaret. These are cute. You wouldn't have a problem finding this in your purse, I'll tell you that, because it's very bright. It's very much actually looks a lot like the lip color I have on right now, which, by the way, if you're curious what it is, it's from Buxom. It's the Full Force Lipstick Emboss. I don't know where I got that. I like the color though. Then we have the Clean Sheen Cheek and Lip Color in the shade Apricot. I'm a sucker for cheek colors. That's one thing I have a really hard time passing up on. Ooh, it's like a two. Okay, I might have to try this because, is there another one? Okay, this is the only one. So I will open this up because I will most likely put this in my makeup collection. I just wanna see what color it is. I love, oh wow, I don't have a color like that, so that's great. I love cream cheek products, gel cheek products, anything that gives me a dewy look. I love it. And as you can see, it's like super, it's a lot brighter than I thought it was going to be. That would probably be really fun for summertime. And it feels really like smooth, almost like a slippy silicone-y vibe. And as you can see, it really sheared out. So I'm going to have to try that on my cheeks. And again, no, no fragrance, which is really nice. Okay, let's see what else we've got. We have another pick-me-up lip in the shade Irene. I guess we'll have to see what Irene looks like if we looked at Margaret. Whoa. That is like a red, like a fire engine red. And again, I I hate to keep being like, I don't really use lip products anymore because I do, but I just, I don't use like really high pigment lip products just because the mask and you know other things and I just get lazy, so. We have the Arch Support Gel Powder, Brow Powder Gel. What shade is this? Medium Brown. This should be my shade. <laughs> Oh yeah, okay, I'll have to probably try that too. <laughs> and then finally we have these two guys. We have the Spectator Sport Mascara as well as the Clean Sheen Lip Gloss in Crystal Clear. So that's from Gen C. There are a couple products definitely I'm gonna have to play with. Okay, back to this side. We've got the Transport Yourself to Paradise. It's from L'Oreal. I have a feeling I know what's probably in here. We have some makeup products in there, and this is what I figured they'd send. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. This is the Voluminous Lash Paradise in Blackest Black. I will probably immediately throw out my mascara that I'm working on now and put this in there, because I think my mascara is not old, but probably due for a change out, and I love the Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. So we have the Blackest Black, Black Brown, and then there's the Black. Then we have some other, it looks like a bunch of lip products in here. <laughs> they look really pretty, like the colors look beautiful. Let me take them out of the box first. I'm making so much noise probably with that packaging. So we've got some lipsticks here. These are the Glow Paradise. So I'm assuming these are more of a balmy type of consistency. And we have four different shades. We have 160 Cherry Wonderland, 180 Beige Eden. I'm like beige. Sounds like me. 140 Peach Charm. And then 150 Rose, Rose Mirage. So we have four lipsticks from them. And then we have a ton of these, what are these, lip glosses? These are the lip color. Lip balm and gloss. 
Whoa, that sounds weird. Okay, I'm gonna have to try one of those. I'll pick a shade or something and try it, but these colors are all really pretty. Like, I love this color family. I mean, it's very much basic my lips but better it looks like a lot of um but if they're like bomb to lip gloss i might actually like that type of formulation so those are so pretty i like what l'oreal's doing here i think that's very exciting okay what is this we've got a little pink box over here which matches to my aesthetic today i got a letter okay let me read the letter hello morgan allison stewart this is zena from the marketing company of kahi we find it unfortunate that can't, we can't meet you in person and must write you this letter. The Kahi Multi Balm is a product designed for the modern woman with an active lifestyle and not enough time to invest in her skin. This is so sweet. They wrote me a whole letter. I'm not going to read the whole thing to you because I have actually made a video on the Kahi Balm because it's something that I really enjoyed. So this is actually a little bit of an older <laughs> PR package because I've had this for a second. Ooh. Oh, I... I love these. Okay, these are the Wrinkle Bounce Balms. There's two of them in here, I'll show you. We've got two of the Wrinkle Bounce Multi Balms, the Aqua Balm, which is actually my favorite of the balms, and the Extin C Balm, which is the Vitamin C Balm. So we have those, and then we also have this, which is the, oh my gosh, is this like a fancy pen? The 153 Blossom Ballpoint Pen. <gasps> oh my gosh, it has my name on it. <laughs> Wow! Oh my gosh, my name's there. I don't know if you guys can see that. They like had it on the side of this. Wow, fancy! <laughs> I love pens. And it's like my favorite color, like this like baby pink. Oh my gosh, thank you. I'm so excited. That is so generous. Thank you, Kahi. Elf! What is this? We have the Camo Fam just got bigger. Meet the newest member of our Camo Fan Cam Camo Fam. Camo Fam. Camo Powder Foundation. There's a lot of camos in that, but I was getting tongue twisted. Let's see what these are. These are the Elf Camo Powder Foundation. So they sent me three different shades. We've got the Light 250W, which I'm assuming is warm. Light 240W. And then Fair 150C. If I'm going to guess, I would guess I'm probably, out of the three of these, light 250W. But let me see what the actual powder looks like. Yeah. That's probably my color. So I'll have to maybe give this a go. I know their concealer is really, really popular. That's from e.l.f. I think there's another e.l.f. PR package somewhere in here. I'm wondering if I should just do that at the same time. If this is it, then I will. I don't think this is Elf, <laughs> but we're doing it anyways. I don't even know how to open. <gasps> oh, this is from Shiseido. I, I'm not sure I get Shiseido PR packages a lot. I think this either is the first time or if I've gotten PR packages from them in the past, I haven't gotten a ton of them, but this is, this just, <gasps> this is the Synchro Skins. I love this line. So this is actually the foundation. Oh, let me just set this down on my lap. The Synchro Skin is one of my favorite foundations. I also love their concealer. So I'm glad I have a new foundation of this because I'm sure mine is, you know, maybe a little aged. And this is in 250 Sand. It has an SPF of 30. So I'm excited about that. But this must be the new thing that they're launching, which is the Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Tint. And they also sent me it in light... Hiba, Hiba in 235. Oh my gosh, I'm all, I, I'm like everyone right now, I'm all about these like skin tints and so I'm definitely gonna have to be giving this a go. But on top of that, they sent me all of these little bottles of the, yeah, this is the same thing, the Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Tint so I can find my shade. This is great, I am so excited about this. I'm assuming actually these are probably all of their different shades they have of this. But like I said, I'm a huge fan of them. Ever since I tried the Synchro Skin Cushion, I want to say, was the first Synchro Skin Shiseido product that I used. I've loved this line ever since. So it works really well with my skin type, and I like that it matches my skin, performs really nicely, so that I'm stoked on. We have this guy from Purr, which speaking of favorite face products, Purr has currently my favorite concealer. This is the, what's in here? 
We've got the Clout 4-in-1 Cloud Cream and the 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. Nice. These look like straws. I'm going to say that these are straws. These are definitely straws. Ooh, they're glass straws. Wow, look how fancy those are. I do not have fancy glass straws like this. I do have a gla glass straw, but it's like way smaller and shorter, so now it's nice that I have long ones. So thank you, Purr. I actually prefer glass straws versus metal straws because this is going to sound really weird. I can't stand the feeling of like metal on my teeth when I'm drinking or just in general. So I opt for glass, but I don't have like nice big ones like these. We have Alicia Keys here, Keys herself. This is the Soul Care, the Let Me Glow Illuminating Serum. This has niacinamide and rose water in it. I guess it's available at Ulta Beauty. Whoa, this is pure, look at it. This is wild! I went in to grab it and it just spun. Okay. That is a fancy PR box. It's like such an, such an orchestra for this serum. The packaging feels really nice. I give myself permission to glow. This is among another, like, you know, feels like a lot of celebrities have been coming out with their own skincare line. So you guys will have to let me know. I mean, I feel like Alicia Keys, she... Is, is a testament to her skincare in the sense of like she's got really nice skin and she's always, or I feel like recently has embraced the natural look of skin, but yeah. I don't know how to feel about like all these celebrities coming out with their own skincare lines. You guys have to let me know in the comment section down below. My hair is also really tangly. Okay, I should go to this side. Speaking of celebrities, we have from Rare Beauty, the Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. Woo, another one. No, another tinted moisturizer type product. This looks like, I don't know, that looks like it might be light for me. What color is this? 26W? Does that sound right? I'm gonna say 26W. Um, this is my first Rare Beauty product I think I've used, so we'll see. This is the first time they sent me a PR, so yay. Uh, and I guess this retails for $29. It also has a broad spectrum of 20 SPF. And then there's this little drawer here. Oh! I feel like I'm never cool enough to like wear stuff like that. That I just get fluff all over my hair. Okay, if I did, you're just gonna have to sit there and watch me with fluff in my hair for the rest of this video. Cute. I'm all for, like I said, trying products like this because I love them. Ooh, okay, this one's fun because this is actually a PR box from my second channel, which is my booktube slash storytelling channel. It just is under my name, Morgan Allison Stewart. And so I started to get like PR packages from publishers, which is really exciting because now I get to read their books. Um, and this is from Debating Darcy, Pride versus Persistence. I'm going to assume this is a spinoff of Pride and Prejudice. I can't be sure. Um, it's from New York Times bestselling author Sayantani Dasgupta. You can't debate matters of the heart. This just fell out. Why you should read Debating Darcy. Let us convince you. Pull the tabs to read our debate points. Oh boy. An empowering YA rom-com about speaking your truth and finding your community. An irresistible enemies to lover story between a relatable Desi heroine and a dashing yet distant Darcy. A hilarious and modern reimagining of Pride and Prejudice set in the ultra-competitive world of high school speech and debate. Proves that your voice matters and is worth fighting for. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes you're just in the mood for a YA because everything has been heavy or you just need a reprieve from life. So maybe this is something I'll go for. I'm not going to lie though. Romance is not typically <laughs> the genre that I go for. If you watch my booktube channel, you know that that's like the one genre I tend to stray away from, but I still try. So we have these cute, oh, these are super cute. I used to love these. They're like the scrunchy hair scrunchies with the bow ties. My OG, the beauty breakdown viewers will remember when I used to make those like headbands with the same type of bow ties. So flash or throwback matters of the heart we've got like a little notebook here we're going back to high school it sounds like I got some socks we've got some pencils and then last but not least we have the book itself which is I don't know it looks kind of fun and it looks like a very I mean it's a YA so should be pretty quick to read so maybe if I'm I'm feeling like it I'll have to pick this up but yeah so I always put my booktube slash storytelling YouTube channel in the description box. I'll put it down there again. So if you guys feel like following me over on there, you can do so. 
my butt is starting to hurt from sitting down. So if I keep shifting, that's why, because then my legs start falling asleep. I also have dog hair all over my pants, so let's just ignore that, because Buddy, he's the furry one. I think this says eye deaf, but this is really hard font for me to read. <gasps> Hard candy! I haven't used hard candy in so long. Hard candy used to be my jam. I mean, I'm a child of the 90s, so um, I guess the 2000s, I should say, when I was wearing makeup. But this is the iDef Collection Spring Summer 2022. Oh my gosh, flashbacks to my childhood. <laughs> iDef has landed liquid metal eyeshadow. Oh, wow, it just keeps going. Ooh, okay. Oh, these look fun. This is the hard candy I feel like I remember. These are the liquid eyeliners, and look at these fun. Here's like a yellow, a bright purple. Wow, like green. Look at these fun colors. White. Okay, this is amazing. I'm super excited for these. So, like I said, I love liquid eyeliner, so... I have, for the longest time, was like buying only Japanese liquid eyeliners because those were like the companies that I could find that were making like bright, vibrant liquid eyeliners that would last all day that were like super pigmented. Next we have, these are the eye desks. Okay, so these are the metallic, metallic, metallic eyeshadows. We've got five different colors here. Look like that. Isn't that fun? I can't get my, it's a weird angle for my hand. And then this last bag here, these are the long wear eyeliner pencils. And like those are some of the shades. Fun! I'm so excited, Heart Candy's coming back. Another drugstore brand we have here is Maybelline. Oh wow, this is, there's a lot of products in here. Looks like they sent like a whole shade range of something. Or all the shades. Holy moly, it's a lot of, what are these, concealers? Yes, these are a lot. I'm pretty sure Maybelline just sent me their whole, oh my gosh, I can't even, I can't even get them all in my hands. Cause there's so many of them. The Superstay Concealer, Active Wear Concealer. Okay, I'll have to find my shade in here. I love Maybelline concealers, another Maybelline, another brand of concealers that I really like. They're soup, they're, what is it? Fit Me Concealer is one of my favorite concealers, so. Yay! I'll just like pick my shade and then that's gonna be something I donate the rest of. We have Anomaly here, a box from them, which is from Priyan Priyanka Chopra Jonas. I mean, she's got amazing hair, let's face it. And then there's a couple different products here. I'm just gonna take them out of the box. What is this? Oh, this looks lovely. This is hair and scalp oil and it's got almond and rosehip oil. That's something I'm for sure gonna try. We have the leave-in conditioner and the bonding treatment mask. Now this says less spent on packaging, more spent on superior formula. Oh, okay, so they're like one of those brands that's like, just ignore that we're not like the cutest brand, but we spent all of our money on the product itself. Love that. <laughs> I even tried and I know they sent me, I think a box of her shampoo and conditioner, and I wanna say it's still sitting in my bathroom drawer. So maybe this is incentive to just whip the whole line out and try it. This is from True Alchemy. This is new to me, whoa. Find your golden hour moment this spring solstice at True Alchemy Skin. We have their best-selling duo, brightening duo, that offers bright, dewy, illuminated skin that lasts throughout the day. This guy, which is, oh gosh, oh, it's really in there. <laughs> okay, they like glued that in there. I took a piece of the box with it. The True Alchemy Spot Trek. And then we have the Eye Elixir, cooling eye treatment with hy hyaluronics, caffeine, and light diffusing technology. So that must be their brightening duo. Whoa. There's, I don't know, there's something else over here. What is this? What am I looking at? Something you plug in. It's a sunset lamp. So, oh, here's the. Yeah, easy hoop, easy hooky. This is fun. I have to look at what the point of this is because I'm actually not really sure. Is this one of those lamps that like help you wake up more naturally or like help you, like helps your body produce the like wake up chemicals? 
I don't know, but thank you. I will definitely try this once I figure out how to use it and what it's for. I love creative PR packages like that though, I'm not gonna lie. We have another Laurier, Laurier. <laughs> I've been talking for quite some time now, so if I'm getting tongue twisted, it's because my mouth is getting tired. The L'Oreal Paris Bring the Salon Home. We have, oh, the leg gloss, like color gloss, one step toning gloss. I kind of want to try these, but I'm scared of like messing up Sky's color job on my hair. <laughs> it is say it's clear though, so I'm sure that makes it impossible, right? And then we've got the Ever, Ever Pure Sulfate Free. Moisture shampoo and moisture conditioner in rosemary. I use stuff like this, so this is great. This is for protecting color treated hair, which clearly, well, I don't know if it's clearly, but my hair is color treated. I have some like lightness in my hair. Oh, here is the L product I was looking for earlier. Okay. Brand Elfing New. We have all kinds of new stuff here. We have the Power Grip Primer. This looks great. It's fragrance free and oil free. I love that we have so many companies coming up with like fragrance free makeup as well as skincare because some of us are very sensitive to it. So I like that they're giving us consumers more options and it looks like this might be one that is better for dry skin like mine because I don't necessarily have a problem with like my skin making oil. It's my skin not making oil. Then we have the brow lift. This is sculpted, lifted, tamed, fluffed up, and long-lasting hold. It's clear, it looks like. And right now, I'm actually using the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel, so hopefully this will be a good substitute because it's going to be way more affordable, and it looks almost identical. So we'll see performance-wise if those are similar. Then we have this brow lift applicator. Okay. I don't have one of those, so that might come in handy. We have Love Triangle Lip Filler Liner. Oh, those are handy. They're like the teardrop shape, kind of the same, same shape that the Benefit Eyebrow Pencils come in, that like diamond shape. So those are probably be nice, not only lip line, but also fill in your lips. We have three of these e.l.f. Glossy Lip Stains. That's what they look like. <laughs> An angled silicone face sponge. And then the Stay All Day Blue Light Micro Setting Mist. Someone explained to me this blue light phenomenon on skincare and if it's actually a thing. Wow. My, oh, you can kind of see it. My pile's getting a little crazy over here. I'm going to have to like break everything down at the end of this and recycle it. But we are getting towards the end. We only have a couple more products left. Or a couple more boxes left. We have this one here. Oh! More hair products. Okay, this is from IGK. IGK is one of my favorite hair care companies. We have the First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. Love this stuff. Smells so good. Doesn't leave like a white cast in my hair. And a little bit of this goes a long way. So honestly, a can of this lasts me quite a long time. We have the Beach Club Volumizing Texture Spray. The Good Behavior 4-in-1 Prep Spray. I also love this stuff. It uh, detangles, prevents frizz, is 450 Fahrenheit heat protection and adds shine. And then we have these two. This is the Shampoo and Conditioner legendary dream hair shampoo it smells so good i can like smell it through the seal but ugh, i love the smell of igk hair it's like one of my favorite scented hair care companies another glow recipe box this is the the plum plump hyaluronic cream these are the refill pods i do have the actual container somewhere so i can use these as refills and i love that glow recipe is doing this giving con consumers the ability to just buy the pod so that they can not have to buy the whole package itself. So these are really nice. What's this? Ooh, fancy. This is the Toka Green Tea and Lemon Fragrance Rediffuser. Oh my gosh, I love house stuff. Wow. Oh, that smells nice. Ooh, it's so pretty. Pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh my gosh, it smells so nice. Oh, I'm definitely gonna have to put that out when we're done with this video. And then obviously it has little reeds in here. <laughs> That's exciting. Last but certainly not least, we have this big package here. Oh, from CoverGirl. Clean, fresh skincare. Oh, I have been seeing this advertised everywhere online they're definitely targeting me i must be looking up skincare so this is a new skincare line from covergirl like i said i've been seeing their advertisements online everywhere 
There is the Hydrating Cream Cleanser. There's the Priming Glow Mist. Oh, okay, this is nice. So you can put this on before you apply your makeup, it sounds like. Then we have the, these look like moisturizers, different types. The Dry Skin Corrector Cream, Pff, me. Mattifying Oil Free Moisturizer. The Weightless Water Cream, this uh, evidently offers 72 hour hydration. We got a little hair, oh, what is a hair pad? I know that's not right. Hair band, hair pad. A scrunchie, like a waterproof scrunchie. And then this thing, what is this thing? Oh, it's a portable desktop humidifier. Oh, that's kind of nice. My skin is very dry, so obviously adding moisture into the air is always gonna benefit me. That's neat. Thank you for thinking of that, cover girl. So, anyways, guys, it looks like that was the last PR package I had to unbox. I have currently a giant mess sitting in front of me, which now I get to process and deal with, but I as always, feel very, very blessed that I have companies that send these products to me and I'm glad that I can share them with my friends and family and donate the products. And like I said, if there are any products specifically that you guys would like more information on, that's kind of why I do these because not only is it kind of fun to look at the new launches, but also kind of gauge whether or not there are certain products or launches or brands or anything that you're more specifically interested in. So definitely let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate Comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!